Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I wanted to give you a weather alert. I don't usually do these, but in light of uh, a video I just saw of Reactor 2, which I'll share with you in a moment, uh, I wanted to bring this to your attention. There's some severe weather um, moving through the Midwest. All of these little symbols are areas where there's been hail detected. This site is the RSOE EDIS. It's a disaster information service. Um, you can access this uh, free of charge on the internet and look at uh, anything from airline crashes to severe weather, earthquakes. I check this page frequently for any uh, nuclear events and I had gone to it tonight to see if there was anything associated with the um, earthquakes that we've been having in Oklahoma. I don't see any nuke alerts but um, I wanted to point out that hail is a form of precipitation Hail, rain, and snow washes radioactive particles out of the atmosphere. So I would uh, exercise extreme caution if you are in this area right now. And let me show you what's going on at Unit 2. I put out a video um, last week showing that um, Reactor 2 has had either an explosive event or um, some, some type of... Uh, uh, structural damage and we have yet to learn from TEPCO or any of the agencies in Japan uh, when this occurred it occurred approximately from, from what we can tell about 11 days ago but it, the area appears to be larger the video from a week ago the area is right here and now it appears that it's expanded upward and into this area here uh, I checked on a couple of Japanese news sites good one is usually NHK and TEPCO is now saying there was no criticality although last week they were asking the government for help and identifying um, some some readings that they were getting that they were very uh, alarmed about and now all of a sudden they're saying no I also checked um, this uh, nuclear crisis page from Kyoto News Network and uh, they don't indicate anything else going on with Reactor 2 either. Now, this ping pong that we have going back and forth between TEPCO and the independent scientists, and again, uh, Professor Christopher Busby is one of the world's leading researchers in the health effects of radiation, especially on children. He's saying that there's ongoing fission. There's either been an enriched uranium fission or an explosive criticality that's occurred. And he's not the only one that's saying this. If you go to any news, you can see there's other German scientists that uh, have been analyzing what's going on. And they're saying, too, that there's even a, a, a you know, possible nuclear explosion that could happen, especially if the corium has reached groundwater, which uh, many people think might have occurred as far back as June. So uh, I'm still getting together the information for an updated mitigation list. I will um, share any other information that uh, comes up in the next few hours. So be vigilant. Please share this uh, with those that you uh, care about. And use this as an opportunity to talk to your neighbors and, and your kids' teachers. And, and talk to your kids about it, too, and let them know what's going on. I'm trying to get my daughters to put out a video just for kids to talk to them about it. Nothing too scary. So uh, we'll look for that in the upcoming days as well. Stay safe. Stay out of the snow, the rain, and the hail.